Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe InDesign CS6. I will be going over how to use the frame tool, okay? The frame tool allows you to have set frames in which you can place images to fit within your document or project. So as you see here, I've got a few images from the most recent Avengers movie that I pulled offline, and I have a few different frames around them as well as some strokes and fill that kind of really add a little bit to the frames. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning. In order to place an image within a frame, what you will need to do first is select that frame. So I have a frame over here in the bottom right hand corner of my screen. I'm going to click on that frame now once that frame is selected I will go up here and I will click on file and then I will click on place so file place once you do that it'll ask you to select an image so I have an image of uh, one of the characters within that movie on my desktop I will click on that and I will then click open once the image is within that specific frame, you can do a number of things. Now, if your image is loaded into the frame and it does not fit correctly, there are a number of ways to fix this. If you right click on the frame, so let's right click on the frame and you will scroll down until you see the fitting options. Now there are a number of options and I'm going to go over each of them. Now. The fit content to frame, which is right here, resizes the content to fit a frame and allows the content proportions to be changed. So the frame will not change, but the content may appear to be stretched if the content and the frame have different proportions. So if I click on this like that, as you see, the image looks a little skewed. It's a little stretched. So I really don't know why you would want to do that unless you just have to have a certain height and width within a frame but bottom line you want your picture to look the way it's supposed to look and not stretched or blurred out so if we right click on the frame again and go up to fitting we will then see a fit frame to content which is I'm sorry you will see a fit frame to content which is right here click on that and what it will do is since the frame is exactly this size it will then fit that image to or that frame to be exactly the width and height of that image so that's kinda of what you can do there now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete that frame I'm going to draw out another frame in order to do that you will see a frame tool on your toolbar click and hold and you have three options you have a rectangle frame tool an ellipse frame tool and a polygon frame tool I'm gonna to click on the rectangle frame tool if you hold down shift as you drag you will get a perfect square for your frame so I'm gonna draw a nice frame there I have a nice square frame drawn out so I'm gonna go ahead and click and kinda of drag it where I want it now I'm going to place an image within that frame just like I had showed you so file place select the image and then click open as you see the image is bigger than the frame so what you want to do is you want to right click on the frame go down to fitting and then look at your options now what you want to do is you have two separate options you can fit the content proportionately or fill the frame proportionately now if you fit the content it will resize the content to fit a frame while preserving the contents proportions so what that means is if you do this what it will do is it may not fit the entire frame but it will have the image in its correct format so what that means is it will not skew or stretch the image and it will not look in a way that you don't want it to look so let's right click on this image again go up to fitting and then now let's go to fit frame proportionally I'm sorry fill frame proportionally when you do that you can see now the image is not skewed but what it has done is it if you double click on the image you can drag the image to be anywhere within that frame so when you see these dark orange 
alignment lines come up, that means that you are going to be able to adjust the image and not the frame. So whenever you have your image selected, you can then drag over and have the image fit where you want the image to be within that frame. When you click off, you now have the image the way you want it within that specific frame. Now let's talk a little bit about stroke and borders within the frame tool. If I have this frame right here selected and I want to add a border or a stroke, I will then want to go up to the top of my screen and it's automatically as default set to zero. If I click on one or two or three, I am now making a border around my frame. So let's leave it right at five points and let's add a little design to it. So let's add a thick on thick border and then let's change the color to be a nice dark blue color. Now I'm going to select off and now as you see if I zoom in just a little bit that image within that frame now has a nice blue border around it. So that's how you add borders to your frames and images within InDesign. Now if I also right click on this image I can actually do a few things. What I can do within this frame is I can transform it, I can make it bigger, I can move it, I can rotate it. Uh, you can even scroll all the way down and you can add effects to that frame or image just as you would with anything else within InDesign. So guys, I really hope this tutorial has helped you. If you have any questions on how to use or utilize the frame tool within Adobe InDesign, please put them in the comment box below. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.